Hello everyone, I'm making this video to talk a little bit about Mass Effect Andromeda, especially now that we know, or we think we know when it's coming out. I thought it's a good time to make the video. Apparently March 21st, or at least somewhere in March, it hasn't been officially announced yet, but I think it's a reasonable guess. So let's get to the point. What is my main concern and worry about this game? It is that it will apparently have a very strong emphasis on exploration and open world elements. And I worry that we may end up with too much content with too little substance. Now, they did have a similar focus in Dragon Age Inquisition. And when I played through Inquisition, I thought it was okay, probably mostly good. But ever since, especially after I've played through The Witcher 3, after seeing how amazing the side quests can be, I don't want anything else. I don't want just exploration and gathering and crafting and fighting for the sake of it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nothing wrong with that. People may actually enjoy it, but I want a strong backbone. I want engaging, emotional, well-written story, and I want the fun gameplay and exploration and gathering and all that to be the side activity, to be what you do alongside the interesting story. Now, Dragon Age Inquisition has a few good examples. Well, I can really think of one right now. Uh, it's the... what was the place called? Duskwood? Cre Crestwood, there we go. So the Crestwood sequence in Dragon Age Inquisition was pretty good, memorable. You had a interesting mystery to uncover and you know, with the mayor and all that. I'm not gonna go into details, but that was good. Other than that, however, right now I can't think of any other side plot that I was really engaged into. So I worry that they may repeat that in Dragon Age, I mean in Mass Effect Andromeda. Now they have actually said in the past, I don't remember when I read it, it was I think soon after the release of Dragon Age Inquisition where it became Game of the Year and all that, they've actually said back then that they want to use what they learned from Dragon Age Inquisition being successful and use that in Mass Effect Andromeda. And I hope they also looked at The Witcher and saw what made that successful. I'm not sure why Bioware has recently been so fascinated with open world elements and exploration. I think they pointed at Skyrim and the success of Skyrim when making Dragon Age Inquisition. They said that they were inspired by it, but I think they should have just looked at what made their other games great. Look at Mass Effect 2, for example, which is definitely one of the most beloved uh, Bioware games ever. It is linear as hell, and people still loved it. I loved it. There was a part at the very end of the Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC for Mass Effect 2 where you can access records of the Shadow Broker and you can literally see like a one paragraph, uh, like a small paragraph about each of your companions. And people loved that. People were all over the place on forums and whatnot discussing things, coming up with theories about these small bits of information, additional information for your companions. So people were really into the game and they couldn't care less about exploration and whatnot. All they cared about was the characters. And I'm not saying the game would have been worse if it had places where you can roam and gather materials and craft and fight. No, but the game was just as good the way it was. So what I hope is that they either made the side content great which I, I doubt. I hope I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, and if they didn't, I just hope that it's not too much, that it's not obligatory. You don't lose that much if you just decide to skip through it. And also that the gameplay will be interesting enough to where doing the side activities does not bore you. And from what we see, the gameplay seems reasonable. It seems um, Mass Effect 3-like. You have the zoomed-in camera. If you look at the evolution of gameplay from Mass Effect 1 to 2 to 3, you'll see that the camera gets zoomed further and further in to the point where in Mass Effect 3, when you aim, it's pretty much a first-person shooter. I've heard some people don't like it. I, I personally don't mind. I like how the gameplay has been evolving. So I think it's reasonable to hope that the gameplay will be even better. Um, there have been some other minor things that just looked weird, like in all of the trailers that they've shown, the facial expressions look a bit weird, a bit out of place, like you can't really tell what the emotion is. Also, this character looks a bit stocky, could be the camera angle, uh, but looks a bit disproportional. Doesn't it? It's like the shoulders are a bit too wide and the legs a bit too short or I don't know. Those are all small little things that don't matter. What matters is I want, and I think many people want, a great story-driven experience. 
And, you know, just to give you an example for The Witcher, I responded to a comment a couple of days ago, and I ended up watching the whole video. It was this bit in the latest expansion where you, I think you find a notice on a notice board or something, and you go to the middle of the forest, and you find a chubby guy next to a tree, and it's the best quest ever. I mean, well, not literally, but you know what I mean. There's an interesting mystery to uncover. You learn more about the mythos of the world. You're not sure what's true and what's just a fairy tale. You have multiple ways of resolving the situation, multiple different outcomes in the end. People can live or die. Ghosts can get liberated or turn into raids or whatever. You can read a book which he gives you, which has answers on how to deal with the witch later on, or you can choose not to read it and like use brute force, or you can try and investigate and explore caves to look for body parts and perform rituals. And Like I said, multiple outcomes. It's just... it's awesome. It manages to be very mature and kind of fairy tale ish at the same time. And it ruins gaming for me because I just want stuff as good as it from now on. I think I've mentioned that in other videos, but let me say it again. The Witcher 3 pretty much ruined Fallout 4 for me. I started playing Fallout 4 right after I finished the first expansion, Hearts of Stone, which was great. And I couldn't finish Fallout 4. I just couldn't. I didn't want another settlement marked on my map. So, yeah, th that is my main concern. Uh, should I say anything else about Andromeda? Um, apparently there's going to be a lot of romances in there, which is potentially alarming. There's going to be opposite sex romances, same sex romances for males, for females, alien romances, whatever that means. And they've also said at one point there's going to be more romances than ever. And I'm not sure what they mean by ever. Is it just among Mass Effect games? Which which is fine, I guess. I certainly hope they don't mean all Bioware games, because like, how can you get more than Dragon Age 2? where you have a whole bunch of companions, and you can have a romance with every single one of them, regardless of your gender, so how can you get more than that? Anyway, we'll have to wait and see. And there have been some other controversies surrounding Mass Effect Andromeda. Those are all minor things, right? The main thing is we want a good story, and I worry that we may get too much side content with too little substance, and I hope I'm wrong, because I want to love the game, um, and I hope I do. So that was it. Tell me what you think about these points. And that's all. Thank you for watching. Until next video, stay tuned and be good.